Just take one look at this game timeline down in the corner. I found three exclamation mark moves, and I like never had advantage except for like the very end. It was like minus .2. It's basically white starting edge right here. This is the advantage I had. Um, so you know, just my opponent played a really good game except for this missed win here when I blundered. Um, but uh, let's just get right into this game because I found a nice tactic to secure the draw. We have a very exciting Richter Rouser attack. It's a really sharp opening and it's uh, against the classical Sicilian and uh, I'm pretty sure Fabio and Caruana played this against Magnus in the 2018 World Championship. Oh, and by the way, this is random, but I matched with a girl on Hinge who like knew Fabiano Caruana in real life. So we talked about chess and Caruana um, for a couple days, and then she unmatched me because I guess I wasn't high enough ELO for her. Um, but you know what? That's playing on chess.com is for, right? Uh, okay, so he plays f4. You want to play this on move 9 if you're white. I don't know the exact move order, but I know move 9 it deviates. So then I unpin my bishop, and he takes... He moves his queen, he's doing everything except moving this pawn forward like the engine is begging him to do. And boom, taking open file, gonna send the missile right here, just nuking right into his position, and boom, threatening a nuke with the queen and the rook going here. Oops. Didn't mean to draw that arrow. Alright, he blocks, and boom, let's just ape with the pawn. Who cares about my own king and my own pieces getting attacked? Let's just attack him, alright? The best way when someone's going to hit you, you just hit them back, all right? You just keep going, right? You don't even block. Don't even have to block. Uh, okay, pawn moves up. I move my knight out of the way, trying to trade off his knight. Takes, takes. Um, and now he takes here. I lose casting rights, but I wasn't going to castle anyway. He don't castle against f4 in the Richter Rouser. I knew that. I knew that from my study. I remember that from my chessable course, right? I pay attention. Uh, he takes here with check, take with the queen, and boom, queen to a3 check because I like throwing unnecessary checks in. The computer wanted me to go here, to go here, and threaten a fork and get a pass pawn. That's positional. Who cares about positions? What do I look like, Anatoly Karpov? No, this is 1500 Elon huh? I play like a monkey. King b1, and boom, a4, exclamation mark, when being a monkey and just pushing pawns forward pays off. Okay, pawn takes, and uh, the computer wanted me to take with the bishop, and I thought for a while on this move, but I figured my bishop would just easily get pinned and get useless. So he moves his rook here, now he's threatening this check. Move my rook over here, blocking, queen goes over here, um, which threatens to go here, and boom, I play right into his plan, queen checks, takes the pawn, king goes out of the way. Now this is just a free rook, right? Rook here. Uh, and then after I take back, the queen takes back with check, and actually it wins the queen by a skewer. So, uh, but instead of that, he takes with the pawn, and I blunder the rook again, and he doesn't take it, he goes for a check, I move back, and now he takes the rook. But this is a mistake, because I don't, because, well, first of all, I can just take him back, and it's a free trade, but I'm still down if I do that right? But I have this tactic, sacrificing the rook! And this secures the draw, because that was the best I could do after my eight moves, all right? All I could do is just open up his king and just dribble it around like a basketball. I take this rook and just dribble his king around like a basketball until he repeat moves. And that was the end of that game. So it's just another exciting game here at 1500. And I hope you enjoy.